Hi there everyone, this is Liz again. A warm welcome back to this new intuitive energy update. As you see, I'm sitting in the car because I'm out and about and uh, have done some errands in the neighborhood and I realized the time was so much. So I thought, well, I find a nice quiet place to do the video recording for today instead, instead of... Um, uh, setting everything up uh, when I get back to the house so here I am uh, it's kind of interesting because this area where I'm at now is known for um, earthbound spirit visits and stuff like that <laughs> um, this is you know it, it's a bit forest area here but uh, very close there's buildings and old institutions and you know stuff like that where <clears throat> people from the past is known for have been visited people who lives in the area so we'll see if i will be alone in this video or if you notice anything else or if i get any visit from someone uh, i kind of hope not because i i just want to focus on being in my channel when i give you uh, the messages but we'll see <clears throat> what happens so as usual, if you want a private session with me, you can check out the information uh, uh, under this video and it will tell you everything you need to know to do so. Uh, otherwise, listen to the messages and see how you can apply them for your own life at this time. So let's see what my guides wants to talk about today. <clears throat> Okay, so they're kind of showing me uh, when things has kind of piled up for a long time um, in a row like this and uh, all of a sudden you have come to a place where it's kind of, um, it has become too much and you have to, um, you have to clean it up or cleanse it or release something or, um, yeah, release something from within or release something uh, otherwise, uh, something else from your uh, everyday life or outer life. Because uh, they're showing me that things have been piled up for a period. And I almost get the feeling of feeling a bit nausea and, and um, <clears throat> like you can do when you when you get a bit sick emotionally or energetically and um, it's time to cleanse whatever needs to be cleansed or released whatever needs to be released and I don't mean released in a bad sense it feels only positive uh, almost like pulling out um, uh, you know <laughs> I don't know what to call it in English you know those little things that are in the bottom of every bathtub that keeps the water uh, to stay there. It almost feels like I need to pull that up so everything can just whoosh, wash out or start to flow or uh, being released or that's what the guys are showing me. Uh, so think about how that can be applied in your life because we you know astrology uh, if you look at the astrology aspects of um, um i i usually don't talk about that so much but if you look at what's been going on for for um, a couple of months it's like uh, a lot you know a lot of internal work that we have been encouraged to do um, but now we, we are in a culmination of that where we, we, where we need to kind of uh, release all that inner processes and, um, and move forward in, in a new way. You know, we have this new moon this coming uh, weekend here, I think. 
So it's a really good time to uh, go out there or go for what you want or release something or start something or, you know, just uh, release the old and embrace the new or uh, that's the kind of energy I'm getting after after you have released all the things that have been stagnant or piled up inside or in your life, creating, just creating more stress, you know, you, the more you kind of um, get into or feel that stagnant energy, the more stress uh, you feel as well, perhaps, because um, what's not flowing creates blockages and then we start to feel anxious or worried or stressed about what's what's kind of stuck in here uh, all right so that's that mm. <clears throat> And they're showing me the sky and uh, a sun and a moon and next to each other. Um, one is the sun, they say, and one is the moon. And the, the sun and the moon will be a fine combination. Um, and so I don't know how, how this can be applied in your everyday life it's if it's about something that you do or if it's about a person that you have in your life or <clears throat> um, if it's a project or a corporation or but that they're, they're showing me a sun and a moon and how they fit together place on the same sky next to each other like this um, <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. Uh, and dro don't drop the ball. They say don't drop the ball. Uh, so um, I don't know what that is. It, it, they're talking about being a team player and. Um, um, handing over the ball i'm seeing this game you know when they play with balls uh, and you throw them around to each other to achieve some kind of goal or uh, so so they're talking about corporations here or being a team player recognize others efforts uh, as well as your own and lift each other and and feel that cooperative energy between between you and another person or between you and a team or between you and <laughs> um, a project or I, I I'm not sure uh, but it feels more uh, people like you know like it's um, it's regarding people um and how you go about with the interaction on your on your play field simply <clears throat> uh yeah and the outcome is going to be good nice uh pleasant abundant um that's the feeling that i'm getting because they are both on the they are both placed very well on the sky. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. This the sun and the moon are very well placed in um, in their own life, and and one one uh, might shine a bit more at the moment, and one has. Um, very you know strong emotional i'm thinking about the moon as very uh, strong emotionally um so the combination of of, uh, of this is is a good blend it's a good blend um, <clears throat> 
All right. And then we want to talk about herbs. <laughs> All right. So herbs are, I, I think I've been talking about that a bit before as well. Um, and herbs uh, and nutri nutrition. And that some of you out there may need to look into uh, how well your body can take in nutrition um, you know I've been working as a therapist before with alternative treatments and you know one of the problems sometimes may not be that you are um, lacking nutrition in the things that you eat because you you might be very aware and you might eat a, a good diet but sometimes we have these inner blockages and other things that hinder the body from absorb the nutrition. And that, that's very common if you have an Im imbalance in, in your colon, for example, or your duodenum, uh, the intestines. And so... Uh, so they say um, it might be a good thing for some of you out there to do a little cleansing, uh, um, um, physical cleanse, uh, because that will free space uh, where you also feel that you can breathe a bit more. So I'm sensing this feeling of stress again, because stress is also a factor that can make your body not be able to absorb um, uh, your nutrition properly if you are uh, too stressed or if you don't have um, enough uh, enough sleep or you know all this everything is about balance in life and and we might not always have balance but uh, we can always do um, small or bigger adjustments to try to create that and start to create that if we feel that life is imbalanced um, so nutrition and, and especially herbs and the natural way that they work and connect um, uh, they show me that they connect in your body and activate different things so use um, try to read if you if you find this interesting and if it feels in your heart this is this is a message for me um, they are giving the advice that you could read uh, about um, specific spices and herbs and what they are good for and uh, trust your feeling uh, how to use them uh, perhaps when you cook or when you do your smoothie or <laughs> if you <clears throat> warm yourself a cup of tea for example if there is any specific herb that you would like to use uh, in there so try to go the natural way with the things that connects your physical um, functions uh, and don't try to don't try to do things that kind of only gives you a substitute for the real the real thing or the thing that actually heals you or supports you in in some way <clears throat> all right and when we talk about sleep, they are also showing me the stars in the sky. <laughs> I'm getting this really beautiful inner images right now regarding the sun and the moon. And now they're talking about the stars. And, and uh, <sighs> sometimes you have to get out of your own way to see the star. To see the stars something about that that if you if you only see clouds in your sky 
if you only uh, look at the ground instead of looking up you know on the higher perspectives and and dare to look in a broader view and higher view uh, if you don't do that you might miss the stars uh, and the stars represents you know all kind of positive things that can be good for you in your life that you will grow from that you will expand within or um, <clears throat> that you will feel supported by or loved from or nourished by uh, so the stars is like uh, these positive opportunities that's what I see and that you shouldn't um, only look at what the things that comes up in front of you um, or the things that um, you know take you away from the broader perspective where you are where you are able to see you know some people only see the stars when they are on vacation for example they forget to tune in in their everyday life to their everyday life kind of opportunities that arises and um so some people only open up to those things when they are um, on on a vacation or are off work and often because they have this imbalance when it comes to work or or stress or feeling overwhelmed or overloaded somehow so they only you know have time and energy to take care of what's in front of them and and then they kind of uh don't have time to dream or to acknowledge the stars in their sky whatever that is uh, whatever that might be for you in your life and they say it's very important at this period in human life for us to to have a higher perspective and to keep dreaming and keep having um look at the stars and look where we're heading and and because your goal setting and also your perspective on where you want to move forward in your life where you want to be in um, where you want to be next week or in a month or next year or in 10 years that matters the guides say it matters um it matters because you set your intention and you start to act on your intention and then you move forward on that path and all of a sudden you it is a reality for you if you feel that this is a star on your sky you should keep that in intention and keep moving towards that and towards that goal um don't lose sight of that and we can lose sight of things for many reasons but um that's what i'm getting <clears throat> okay let's see if there is anything else today So just not so far from here, I hear this really um, weird sound. It's like, <laughs> it's like I can't, I can't really <laughs> explain it. But it kind of reminds me of, of some kind of machine that goes round and round like this. And they talk about robots and machines and there have been a fear okay so there have been a fear on earth that we humans will 
um, that we will have too much of the robotic technology and that this will also affect the human uh, consciousness, our connection to the soul, to our heart and to our body. Um, and they say the danger regarding this, it has existed actually. Um, uh, you know, because um, I don't know where you come from regarding this and how you view this. It's, it's probably very different for all of you out there. Uh, what kind of perspective or information or belief system you have um, and what you think that we are moving towards for the future when it comes to science and when it comes to people who runs the world and how they will use it for the benefit of humans or for bad things simply. And they say the danger has been there but it has released its um, grip um, things will be developed uh, but not, not in the way that we think uh, and that is if we think of this long term you will see a lot of different things that can actually be a bit scary the next few years when it comes to technology coming too close to our natural bodies and and our natural way of living and staying connected to to everything important um, so the guys say that we will we will see uh, scare events or or details sometimes occurring <laughs> But they are talking about the overall picture. There is everything is fine in that overall and long term picture when it comes to this. So, and we can help but also by keeping our goals on the stars, on the positive outcome of things in life. Uh, that also that is also how we should view this you know all, always when you are uh, reaching for something really good or when you are trying to achieve a goal there's all, always uh, hinders along that way you know always you know the only people who who um, if you are developing a company, for example, or a business idea or um, achieving some kind of study or something, there will always be some kind of struggle along that way because you're learning. and uh, and But that is not a reason to give up or that is not a reason to stop reaching for the goal that you have or um uh, you know doing the things that you want um you should still continue to do that it, it that is um how you succeed or um manage to transform something in your life or within yourself for that matter uh so they also bring in this about the natural um okay i'm feeling a bit um, watched now <laughs> um it's kind of you know it's starting to be a bit dark outside although you you might not be, see that here um because the video is kind of light anyway but um i'm sensing a presence um yes so keep the the higher perspective <laughs> on uh, and the long-term perspective on um, on these unnatural things and the natural things and the development of different kind of technology that can in this beginning of the age of Aquarius it can feel and be a bit scary uh, and certainly there has been a danger. That's what my guides uh, are confirming, that it has been a danger. 
to misabuse all this type of new technology and there still is in some degree on on a smaller level but not on the overall level or on the long-term level that's what they are showing me so try to have faith in that if you are a person who have been a bit worried about all these things because this will speed up you know Aquarius the sign of Aquarius is is um, you know all about uh, the the higher mind and um, development of um, you know high tech <laughs> development um, and so many other things but the age of Aquarius will bring the power back to the people because that's also what Aquarius stands for um, Aquarius is the community and the importance of the community and we the people and the grassroots and um, the hu humanity you know the importance of bringing forward humanity in a good way and cooperate with each other instead of um, instead of a few people on the top on the top deciding everything in the world or in the country uh, the age of Aquarius is bringing things down to the us the people the community and for everyone to learn how to cooperate and um, achieve um, balance because it's all about life life is all about balance um, trying to experience balance and when we when we don't experience balance in our life that's also very you know we all we all experience that sometimes and it's often because we are standing before some kind of breakthrough through um because before balance is achieved in something before this inner peace is achieved or before we make a decision that we feel good about we've experienced maybe this uh, stress or imbalance within us uh but aquarius like I said in the beginning, that's what my guides are saying now. In the beginning, in the period, you know, this period will will last for a long time, and we are just, just so in the beginning of it all. That's why it's so messy. Everything still, you know, you can't expect things to just magic magically change from uh, being. Um, steered and run by a pa patriarchy energy and um, with power and all this stuff just to change <laughs> down to the to the ground and to the humans and to the community we can't just expect that to happen overnight or over one or two or three years this takes a bit of time but we are in the beginning of it and um, people are also rising up to injustices as Aquarius are supposed to, you know. Uh, Aquarius, I have a daughter who is an Aquarius and, and she she tells her, <laughs> you know, what, what, what she feels. She, she, she says so if she, something doesn't feel right. And that's what we are doing now in, in the world. Uh, we are informing ourselves we are saying no this is not right <laughs> and that is a part of all this beginning in the in the age of Aquarius but don't be afraid as I said uh, over this overlapping time that we are going through now with new technology and stuff as long as we keep you know like the Aquarius um energy we keep rising up and 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 um, speak up when we need to you know i'm swedish and we swedish people are not so we're very good at these um, 
adjusting and keeping balance and keeping the peace. Um, <laughs> but we and many other people out there in, in the world, we need to, we need to say something. We need to uh, raise our voice like an Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius, they can go out and protest, you know, like in the 60s. And um, this is this liberating energy where we kind of demanding <laughs> to be free because Aquarius is all about freedom also. Um, so we are so much on the right track and we are doing so amazingly good. And, and in the middle of all this, we learn to um, acknowledge each, each other and uh, start to build new kind of ways of working and connecting to each other. Um, mm, yes. All right, it's kind of getting dark in here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still being watch watched. <laughs> uh, all right, um, but thank you so much for listening to this video. I'll see if there is anything else. No, I'm done there for today. Um, and yeah, I wish you the very best for this coming week and look forward to the new moon this weekend. And maybe you should plan something uh, for yourself um, uh, or acknowledge something or, you know, do a little um, nice ceremony perhaps uh, at home where you set different kind of intentions you know to see the stars <laughs> um, that is a real really good time to do so uh, very soon in this weekend so I wish you the best I'll see you soon again bye for now <laughs>